Hi everybody. Um, now I'm going to show you how I uh, do the next steps on finishing my log walls. After they've been uh, scraped down to hard bare wood and varnished, the next step is to stuff fiberglass insulation in the cracks. And then following that, uh, nails driven in to hold the mortar and the final step is to put the mortar in. So I'll show you how I do the insulation. First I buy uh, regular insulation. This happened to have a backing on it, unfortunately, so I peel the back off, but it's better to buy it without a backing if you can, or if you have it. And then I have this uh, tool that I made that's just three little one by two screwed together. Uh, it makes a hook, and that way uh, I can hook it onto this table, which is just a piece of plywood, and use it to smash the fiberglass down flat and it also is a gauge to guide me on how thick to make these strips. I make them an inch and a half wide. So let me put some gloves on. Normally I'd also put a mask on, but for this video I'll leave it off. I use a hunting knife, it's sharp. You can use about any kind of knife. But you hook the uh, little clamp on the table, and then it cuts real nice and clean. And you get real nice uh, thin piece of fiberglass. So I'll do a few of these uh, to show you. One trick is uh, this piece of plywood that I'm using for a tabletop has the grains running on the, on the surface. The grains are running in the same direction I'm cutting. And that makes it work a lot better because the blade will get right down into the into the wood and make sure it cuts all the way through the fiberglass. If you're cutting this way, cross grain, it would be bouncing around a little bit and it, uh, not always cut straight through. So you see I have uh, the material that I use to chink or to uh, stuff in the cracks. Put this knife back in the sheet. And then uh, it's easy to Peel this apart into strips as thick as you need. So, depending on the size of the crack, you choose uh, the amount of fiberglass that you need to stuff it. Now, most of this wall is done. Um, the only crack that's not done is this one right here. And it, the fiberglass you see in there is uh, from the outside. When I chink the outside, um, it shows through because it's a big fat crack. But you can see the rebar pins in the log walls. There's one here, there's one here, there's one in here someplace, right there, 20 inches. There's one here. So uh, what I want to do oops, is to shove uh, fiberglass into those cracks. I use, a, I use a little brick mortar trowel and I look at that crack and I see, I'll start here and move this way. And I see that I need a piece about, uh, about this fat. I use the trowel to just tuck it in so it's nice and cozy. I want to have a nice uh, warm insulation. Take another one about this size. in there. And this one's about the right size for this spot. If I'm not doing this on a video, I'd be sitting in a chair. When I'm working down this low, it'll make it a lot easier. But for now, I'm just showing you a couple examples of how this works. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Now the next step is nailing. And uh, I'll show you how I nail in the next video.